is they sign a contract with a certain hospital and a certain network. From the very next day after the accident, my husband was never the same. He was working really hard to even just get up on to the side of the bed. And usually he's like hops out of the bed and he just puts his clothes on and he shoves food down his throat and he's out the door. You know, in 30 minutes, he was used to it. He was trained to do that in the service. When I say I was healthy as an ox, I was healthy as an ox. We just didn't have any answers. They said he should have been fine, but he wasn't. I didn't get any time off after the incident. Uh, I was, I had to call off the next day as a sick day. I told you I was in pain. I told you it hurts when I walk. And it was like, okay, you know, are you going to be here tomorrow? I was a psych lead. And I know what that entails. You're a leadership of the whole warehouse. So if you have to fill in, you have to fill in. I asked for some type of relief, period, because I was still obligated to work, like picking cases and unloading trucks or rotating product on a forklift. I asked for a chair that I could probably, that I could sit in that would make me more comfortable while I'm doing my office work. They denied it. You're either 100% or you can't work. It just felt like they were just trying to push me out. And eventually I got an MRI by my primary doctor and he showed that I had two herniated discs in my back. And he was like, you shouldn't be doing anything. They can only fix it with surgery. And my husband still had to work this whole entire time.